Screw you guys. I'm going home. What's up, fools? <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube series on how to create a PC gaming console for the living room. In the last episode, we installed and configured Big Box, and in this episode, we're going to do some cleanup configuration in Windows to make the new PC console more user and administrator friendly. Full disclaimer here, uh, I'm on my developer machine, and that's running Windows 10 Professional. You're probably using a consumer version of Windows 10, so your screens might look slightly different. Uh, but my media center downstairs is running the Windows 10 Home, but it's been a while since I built it, so my memory is a little foggy, so forgive me. Okay, first thing we really want to do here is go ahead and configure the machine to automatically log in anytime you power it on. So here you can see a quick iPhone video that I made of what it looks like when we hit the power button on that thing. Um, here we're going to open up the command prompt as an administrator. And we're going to issue the command control space user passwords to. Okay, this will bring up the list of the accounts on the machine. This is my developer machine. I'm going to select Neil and then uncheck the box that says to require a password. Click apply. It'll ask for that user's password. You provide it here. Um, you, of course, will select the Cody account or whatever user account your media center is logging in as. So now you can go ahead and reboot the machine and it should automatically log in as that user. Okay, next up, we want to auto start Cody whenever the machine automatically logs in as a user. Uh, to do this in Windows is actually really easy. You can just create a shortcut from the app you want to start whenever the user logs in and uh, put that shortcut there in the startup path uh, in the start menu that you see there. Now, you don't really want to do this because it will start Cody. The problem is Cody may not have the focus. Another app may start. Another app may take focus away. So we're going to delete this. I just wanted to show you that's how you would normally start a program when somebody launches in. We're going to go get a program called Launcher for Cody that's going to basically give Cody focus control. So Cody always has focus and nothing can steal the focus away and minimize Cody or come pop out in front of Cody. So here's the app. Uh, we see we want to check the box there to start Cody when Windows starts. Uh, there's some focus settings that we can set. The default is every 10 seconds. Check for focus. Here, we're going to go ahead and enter in VLC as an external player. This is so that when you launch VLC from Cody, uh, Cody won't steal the focus away from VLC uh, while it's playing. Then we're going to go add some external apps in here. We're going to add Steam and we're going to add Big Box. So again, when we launch Big Box or Steam from Cody, Cody won't steal the focus away. Um, you, know, you kick off Big Box to play a game, and 10 seconds later, bam, Cody's back in the foreground again. You don't want that to happen. Okay, so we got that set up here. Uh, we are going to want to check the box there to prevent Cody focus so that Cody won't steal focus from these apps like we were indicating earlier. So here we're going to basically use the app to kick off Cody. Uh, from this point forward, when you reboot the box, uh, this app should start, and it should handle all this for you. Um, here I'm just trying to show you I'm going to launch Big Box and what you would could see happen or what, you know, if you didn't set the apps right after 10 seconds, Big Box will disappear and Cody will be back in focus. So uh, we're just testing that here. We're going to browse around for a second to make sure 10 seconds passes and make sure that Cody doesn't steal focus away from Big Box again. Uh, but doing this should make, should make sure that Cody always has focus. No app that gets started is going to be able to basically steal Cody's thunder and uh, and and pop up there in the foreground. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do here is uh, disable UAC. Again, very careful. Be very careful here, guys. Um, here we're going to go open up that user account control, and we're going to dial it all the way off. You can see here on my screen I can't even do that because you have to be logged in with the built-in admin to do that. Um, only do this, guys, if this machine is purely an appliance. Do not ever check email on this box. Do not ever go to your bank. Do not ever enter any passwords um, on this box once you've turned UAC off. Absolutely, positively do not want to do that. Only for appliances. Okay, and here we're going to go ahead and grant access to hidden shares. So you need to get this registry key in the registry. So we're going to start the registry editor as an administrator. And we're going to import this key. 
into the registry. So you're going to go up there, file, import. We're going to get the key, import that key into the registry. Okay, it's there. Now you need to reboot the box. Um, but basically what's going to happen here is we now have that uh, value in the registry for local account policy. And now we're going to type in the address to a different machine on the network, our media center in this case. We're going to type C dollars, the share. Um, it's asking for the credentials of the Kodi user. We're going to provide those credentials. And there we are. We're now on the media center remotely from our developer box, uh, which is very, very handy. I'm navigating to the Steam directory here real quick to show you that, hey, you know, um, I got a remote connection here. So I can like download a game on one machine and then remote into the other, copy the full game over to the other machine. And bam, lo and behold, I don't have to re-download everything multiple times on multiple machines. So very, very handy feature. So anyway, that is a couple of uh, tips, some final setup stuff that you're probably going to want to do um, after a couple of months of using the box. Uh, these are just little annoyances that I just had to resolve. Um, so again, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed the video and the series. Talk to you later.